So, here we are, very excited. Got some stuff to unbox from our obsession. I always love that logo. Uh, I got my Teufelberg Adrenaline, which is a huge excitement here. Uh, I'm excited to splice the adrenal line because it is the only Kern Mantle rope I know of that has uh, manufacturer splicing instructions. Oh, mine is well, well taped. Oh boy. Which is huge because I love Kern Mantle ropes because they just last longer. And I like anything with like a really tight sheath because it doesn't get picked by sharp stuff like a chainsaw tooth or anything. I'm not saying it doesn't get cut, but like if your saw is hanging at your waist and you're like moving your whole body through a tight crotch and the saw gets caught up in the rope, usually it'll kind of mess up the rope if it's 24 strand or sometimes even 16 strand, but my Sterling HTP does not get messed up. So hoping the Teufel Burger will be just like that. Almost in. Ooh. Oh yeah. The merch is always solid. Some great stickers. And then I was thinking about getting uh, the other rope I'm excited about is the Samson Hyperclimb, which ooh, ooh, I also got some configuration aids. Ooh. See how those work. Keep my rope runner where it's supposed to be. But I was thinking about getting a, a rope snap, but I decided I like using my Tri-Tech rope too much at work. So I, the lanyard I'm gonna make with the Samson, with the Samson uh, hyper climb, will just be used for like rec climbing. Probably not used at work, because. That Tri-Tech is just oh so sweet. But don't need all that durability when I'm not climbing with the saw. But so, to go with something more compact, I went with the DMM Perfect O Captive Eye. So that's what'll be in my splice. And that is super sweet. Oh, This is the first DMM locking carabiner that I've ever owned. And oh yeah. It feels expensive. This is sick. Oh, this is so cool. Don't be rolling up. I like Wesper and tree stuff, but I live in Minnesota. So that's why I like supporting companies like our obsession because I like, I like stuff to be available close by. So, you know, support your local, local spit of a stretch, but shipping is way quicker. So. So yeah, here's Adrenal Line. I have not had a new rope in a while. But this, oh, oh, that's pretty. We'll see if it hurt, holds up as well as my HTP. I don't know, I don't know if it's, some people have said this sheath is kind of fragile. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if it holds up the same way HTP has for the last five years or whatever. So this Drina line will be what I use to, because I, one of my favorite ropes to use at work is, uh, is 11 millimeter Sterling HTP, and I've used it, it was my first ever rope that I ever bought, and I used it for tree climbing when I was learning how to tree climb, and uh, that HTP is worn like iron. It's really stiff now, like shockingly stiff. Like, I can probably hold up about two feet of it and just have it point like straight up, which you can only do with like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like a couple inches of a good rope. But I only run hardware through it usually, so it's pretty nice. But yeah, putting a splice tie on this thing and having a spliced Kern Mantle rope, oh, it's gonna be so sick. I put a couple extra feet, because my Sterling is 50 feet. I added a couple extra feet to this in case I mess up the splice a couple times. Because, I don't know, I'm assuming Kern Mantle is going to be much harder than 16 strand or double braid. It just seems like it will be, I don't know man. Even though it's 
it seems like the splice is going to be very similar to a oh 16 strand rope and ooh. so one of the things I wanted to test out when I bought this hyper climb is it's supposed to be really good for a static line and already I don't have any blue moon oh I do have some over there it's whatever for comparison but blue moon is really loose so it picks really badly not when you're splicing it picks great when you're splicing but when you uh, like when you're climbing if if it gets caught on even the smallest sharp thing it'll just really pop out a big fluff so this this feels great this hyper climb is so stiff it feels incredible I think that means it's gonna be really hard to splice which is not so great but and so thin I don't remember what hyperclimb is supposed to be. I thought it was 11.7, but this is definitely an 11 millimeter rope. It almost looks thinner than the adrenal line. But, oh man, I am excited about this rope too. This lanyard is going to look so sick. Also thinking about putting my Petzl adjust on this lanyard to see how that goes. Because, yeah, this will fit. This is so sweet. Weaver has a configuration aid, and DMM also has one. The reason I went with the DMM ones is because they looked a little bit wider, so they might be able to keep a rope runner in place. But the uh, but the Weaver ones look pretty narrow when I saw them in pictures, so I didn't think that they would fit around that big pulley that's on the, the rope runner. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty wide device to go around. They'll keep anything else in place probably, but yeah. But yeah, these will be cool. These will keep me extra safe. Oh boy. They have all the pictures on how not to use it. It makes you sad that they have to have those pictures. You'd hope most people would look at a piece of rubber and be like, yeah, that probably can't hold 500 pounds. Oh well, yeah, super excited to splice this stuff, and yeah, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs>